Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion 8-inch RC, or Ritchie Cratian, uh, astrograph uh, reflector. It's an 8-inch F8, so that's 1600 millimeter focal length, uh, RC, uh, that's the uh, astrograph design. Uh, it's not a cast grain, it's not a straight reflector, it's a very uh, specialized astrograph. It's got very highly corrected uh, optics, so very flat field, no coma, ideal for uh, medium-sized galaxies, nebulae, imaging with your DSLR or CCD camera. Uh, it's optimized, uh, it works great with the crop size uh, uh, DSLRs, but it also will work with 35mm uh, format as well. So let's take a little closer look and see some of the features. The biggest thing about this telescope is the optics itself. So I'm going to uh, rotate the telescope so you can see the front of the telescope. So first off, the first thing you notice is there's no corrector. So th that's a big advantage, I think, over a, a standard Schmidt Cassegrain. The first thing that dews up when you're outside at night and it gets kind of wet outside is that corrector plate. So no dew uh, with this design. So that means no dew shield or dew heater sucking power out of your battery. So a nice, uh, a nice uh, feature there. The way they do that is uh, they, they've got different uh, curves on the glass. They're hyperbolic, so they correct for any of the aberrations that that corrector plate on a Schmidt cast corrects for in the mirrors themselves. So the primary and the secondary are hyperbolic. If you can probably see looking down the tube, there are baffles all the way down the optical tube. Uh, that uh, decreases the chance of any extra light bouncing from a star that's maybe off axis here. Uh, gives you overall a higher contrast image. Uh, there's several baffles all the way down the optical tube. The uh, primary mirror baffle down in the middle, that has baffles as well. And then inside the secondary mirror, there's baffling as well. So very well corrected and baffled system. The mirrors themselves are um, uh, highly reflective. They have a 96% enhanced reflectivity. So very good uh, light output through the telescope system. If you look underneath the RC, you'll see the connecting point. Um, the telescope comes with a wide Los Mandy style dovetail bar. So that will fit on, uh, right now I've got it on our Atlas Pro, but it works on our Atlas all the way up to the HDX mount and, and any other manufacturer that uses a Los Mandy style dovetail bar. On the top, we've included a, uh, an accessory guide ring bar. I mean, this is just a standard dovetail bar inverted with some uh, uh, recessed holes for usually either a, um, a separate guide scope, you can attach rings up here, you can do a piggyback system, there's any number of things you can attach to the top, but we give it to you so you have the option of doing whatever you want up on top. So a, a, nice, a nice feature included. If I flip it around to the other side, you can see the focuser. This is a two inch Crayford focuser with a 10 to one reduction gear. So here's the one to one on both sides. And then right here is the 10 to 1 reduction, so you can get very critical fine focus with your CCD camera. It's 2 inch. Um, if you take off the set screws here, you can see it comes with a 2 to 1 and a quarter adapter. The focuser itself has a compression, uh, brass compression ring system, so it grabs the entire eyepiece or camera or whatever you're putting in there evenly around the edges um, and securely, so it's not going to fall out. Plus, it doesn't uh, scratch the surface of your uh, of the barrel of your eyepiece or camera. So a nice system there. The two to one and a quarter adapter also features the brass compression ring as well. The Crayford focuser is fully rotatable. You just unlock the collar there, and then you can rotate the focuser wherever you want. So the focuser is in a nice position for your camera setup or or the area of the sky that you're imaging. Once you found it, you lock it back down. Now, with an RC system, one of the big advantages is back focus. If I was to rack this all the way back in here, the light coming out of the two inch focuser here comes out almost six inches. It's like five and a half to six inches. So there's plenty of room in here to not only attach your camera, but to include any, uh, anything in front of the camera, like a filter wheel, uh, an adapt adaptive optic system, flip mirrors, off axis guiders, uh, focal reducers, just anything will fit in there and still have enough room uh, to focus the camera. So uh, this thing is really designed for astrophotography and they figure you're going to be attaching lots of things in between the camera and the telescope. If you look up on top, there are two finer brackets. 
because if you're like me and you image in different areas of the sky, all of a sudden you realize your finder scope is in some weird, odd angle, and you wish you had another finder on the other side. So we've given you two brackets here and here on either side of the axis. So no matter where you're pointing in the sky, you've always got a, a finder handy. Um, I actually like to put two different styles of finders in there. I'll put an, a, uh, an optical finder here, like, a, like an 8x40 or a 9x50. And then on the other side, you can use one of the reflex sites, like our Easy Finder. So you have the best of both worlds, a, a zero power dot finder and an optical finder as well. In order to achieve focus with your camera, remember I said that the, the back focus, and there's about five and a half inches of back focus here, we include this series of thread-on extension rings. There's a two inch ring and then two one inch rings. So you can add any number of them to the focuser. I believe with a DSLR camera, you're going to be using one of the two inch rings and one of the inch rings. So what you do is unthread the collar here, the focuser comes off, your series of extension rings threads on, and then the focuser threads back onto that. So it's a very solid connection. And with any combination, you can reach focus with your specific imaging need. The scope itself weighs 18 and a half pounds. Uh, it's 22 inches long, and it fits on well, pretty much any equatorial mount that will hold that, that weight. Uh, here I've got it shown on the Atlas Pro, but again, it'll fit on our Atlas mount, which also uses a Lozmandi uh, style dovetail, all the way up to the HDX mount or any other brand mount that does uh, accept a Lozmandi style dovetail plate. And again, when you're doing imaging, it's not only the weight of the telescope that you'll want to take into account, but the weight of all the accessories that you put onto it. So it's 18 and a half pounds, plus however heavy your camera and filter wheel and everything else is. Uh, Atlas works absolutely fine, um, but just keep that in mind and have some overhead. Uh, if your mount holds, say, 40 pounds and you're putting 40 pounds of equipment on it, that might not work as well as you'd want. Uh, maybe for visual it's fine, but for imaging you want to have a little bit over it. So go for the next mount up. Anyways, there you have it. This is the 8-inch F8 RC Ritchie Kratian uh, Reflector Astrograph. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.